Hello and welcome to From Flames, a little low poly PS1 style horror jam game thing. And I'm here with Amy. <laughs> Hello. Right. No idea more than that. It's very grey. The screenshots were very grey and white. Your name is not important. You are a survivor. You roam the wastes of a world only spoken about in campfire stories, looking for anything and everything that might help you going a day longer. You haven't seen another human being in years, and you're beginning to wonder if you're the only one left. Following days of wandering through fields and forests, blinded by an intense fog, you eventually come across a church at the roadside. Running low on food, you decide to take a look inside. What you find will be your undoing. <laughs> It came from the stars. <laughs> well, there we go then. We're in. At least that's there's it. a bit of context. I'm just going to take one of the beer bottles, have done, that's it, continue wandering the waste. I think if I was in this place, I would pick up one of the bottles to use as a potential defence item. Yeah, I thought it was a hand. <laughs> For a split second there, I was like, oh, there's just a hand yeah. sticking up out of the bin. Oh, there's a note. Note from Abigail note from to Dan. Abigail. Paper has certainly seen better days, and whoever wrote it doesn't have the best handwriting, but it's readable. Hey Dan, feels like I haven't seen you in years. Yeah, I know, I know, it was only last week, but... Oh, you know what I mean. I'm always saying the same thing. Anyway, Michael is me on guard duty tonight, and I was thinking, how about you sneak out while the others are sleeping and give me someone to talk to? Come on, I know you wanna. I think... I... I'll take that as a what yes. See you then. <laughs> Lots of love, Abigail. Is there someone slowly opening the door? <laughs> I, I don't know. I heard that as well. So I look on your face. I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Abigail's anger. Is that what it's called? <laughs> there, I did it. That's what those vermin get for what they did. Deep down, I've always known just how twisted they were. It never sat well with me, but they did to other survivors that came to us after they took me in. I can hear that. But yeah, now he's I think gone. it's just ambience. Damn it. I couldn't just sit there and live with it. It's over now, though, for me anyway. I'll tell you what I'm about to do. I'm going to nail all my writings around the place. A final grim reminder to the world as to just what monsters dwelled here for all these years. And then I'll go join the other victims these savages took. At least I'll die content knowing that those scum will rot in the cellar with my beloved guarding the key. They don't deserve to see sunlight again, even if they were little more than crumbling bones. So, don't open dead inside. Uh-huh. Because, yeah. I will praise the punctuation, because it's been pretty good so far. Yes, you normally do pick up and all those things. Yeah, quite refreshing, to be honest. So, can't get the church doors open. A common tool here in the waste, though I don't carry one with me. I wonder if there's anything I could dig up around here. Or just use this as a defence item. Nope. No inventory. No weapons. Why would we want to dig up anything? Like, this grave right here. No, you just wouldn't do that. Abigail's despair. Why? Why did they do this to you? This can't be real. I I don't want to believe it. Why wasn't I there to protect you? This wouldn't have happened if I wasn't so stupid. If I'd just stayed here today instead of going out scavenging. Damn it. I'm so sorry, Dan. I failed to keep you safe. I broke the promise I made to you all those months ago. I'll make this right. They're all going to die, slowly, painfully, spending every last agonising second wishing they hadn't made a martyr of you. They're in the cellar now, all of them, and I have the only key. I'll make this right for you, Dan. You'll see. Okay, dun, there's dun, some dun. missing commas in there, but... What the fuck? That's me digging. What? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm I thought it was just, like, happening. Here comes the ground. There's a key. This key was buried alongside whoever this grave belongs to. Duh, Dan. Must have uh, <laughs> been down for a while. It's pretty rusty, regardless. It should still work without too many issues. Suppose I'd best find which lock it fits. Well, it's not going to be many different places, is it? Considering we can't get out of here, this is it. Yeah, this is the entire <laughs> it's game, just one building. <laughs> I'm going to go try the church doors. Just out of curiosity. Branching ends. You try the church doors at Salvation. If you try the basement, it's death. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Multiple endings. Oh shit, straight down. Don't be the end, please. <laughs> good, thank you. Oh, that's not good. Actually, could this be the end? <laughs> I have I don't no want to torch. Go any further. No! It's so dark. Or is it because of my screen brightness again? Uh, no, it is dark. I don't like it. <laughs> Our ascension. 
brothers and sisters as we oh, sit God. here in our solitude awaiting, I think that's supposed to be our yeah. ascension and unity, know this. The martyrdom of Dan and Abigail is the catalyst that shall bring our God to us. Fucking hell. Rejoice, knowing that as the, <laughs> as the light fades from Abigail's eyes, a series of events is put into motion that will one day purify this wretched earth, reshaping it in the divine image of the Great One. Cthulhu! Yes, Cthulhu. This was why we remain after the rest of humanity was cleansed by his holy fires. We were to finish the job and bring God to his realm. Consider yourselves blessed to be the instruments of his will. For without you, who would have guided all the other lost souls towards their fate? In this very cellar, you have all served the Great One unwaveringly. Mm -hmm. Now, your final act of faith is upon you. This is our destiny. Okay, fuck no. This sounds like a mixture of Silent Hill and the film Martyrs. Because they said, like, as she was dying, like, they were seeing stuff in her eyes about uh. eternity and things. Can't see anything down here. It's all gonna go horribly what, wrong. What is that? Generator. Generator. I don't like it. That sounds good. It's broken. Fuck. No? Nope, nope, it's not broken. Uh -oh. Get ready for a jump scare. Windows 95. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Oh my god, we're gonna get a hat out in the dark. We're not gonna know what killed us. We are. Click to start. Error command is not recognized. Please remember that an inputs are case sensitive. Use help for further access. Uh, I've got my caps. <laughs> caps lock on, god damn it. <laughs> help is, that, is not recognized. <laughs> is that help bracket? Help zero. Is that help zero? No. It might be open and closed brackets, yeah. Oh. Database debug start. Start admin. God, this reminds me of how I used to have to turn on my PC. Welcome back, father. To instill the utmost security, please re-enter your passcode. To do this, type pass X, with X being your six-digit passcode. Well, we don't know that yet. No, we do not. Oh, shit, that's a <gasps> Oh, okay. That is right by I the note. I swear I we... saw the head move. Did you see that? Nothing moved. I promise you, nothing fucking moved. It did. It was like looking up at you and the head just fell down. Don't. Don't do that. Why has this game got so fucking scary all of a sudden? Because <laughs> you're in a dark cellar. Okay. Toggle door one power so we can open and close the different doors. Oh, okay then. Toggle Fair enough. door one power open and close. For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, so you can flick through the different... You don't have to type them all out. You can go back to previous ones. It's like an actual real command right. prompt. You up and down arrow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> help zero. <laughs> no help. Another body. Another goddamn body. Was that body always there by the computer? The oh rust, my god. That was an awful door. noise. Yes, yes it was. You most likely set it to an important date. I think we've got to go back upstairs. There were no dates anywhere. Nothing Maybe it was buried with the key. And you just got to click on the grave again. Can I get out? Can I just go? Wait, what? You got ending oh, F. Escape. Sake. We buggered the fuck off. That's not what we wanted. As you approach a church, you get this striking feeling that something isn't quite right. Instead of playing the hero and going in to investigate if your hunch is correct, you do the smart thing and just go looking somewhere else for stuff to scavenge. I mean, you were never one for churches anyway, and you think maybe you left the <coughs> stove on at home. Yeah, the stove. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> You live a long and happy life, soon forgetting all about that weird town and that church that gave you the freaks. I think that should be creeps. Okay. That is brilliant. Um, please go back in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go back in. Oh, we got ending F. What? F for fail. F for freedom. <laughs> Depends on how you want to look at it. We didn't start oh, this up last time. There we go, there's a generator. Now. 
So what does that open? Still can't get into the church. Just, oh my god, it's not. It's nowhere near as dark. How did we not figure that first time around? That is slightly embarrassing. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh well. Oh my god, how many bodies are on the floor? Oh my, they were... They were not there before, were they? I guess we just didn't question what we were falling over. Where is this damn passcode written? Mwah. Oh. Oh, well, there's a date in here. 7th of December. 2021. On the 7th of December, 2021, Abigail was found starving just outside the gates of the community. She wore what could only be described as rags. As she'd been left, she was going to die. Surprisingly, the Fellowship took her in and nursed her back to health, bringing her into the fold once she had recovered. She is the only person to ever receive this privilege. Her behaviour is far from a, more abrasive than anyone else in the Fellowship, as she is much louder and rowdier. Usually, such behaviour is unacceptable and punished by exile, and yet Father believes her to be incredibly important, so she is granted exemption after exemption. She remembers nothing of her life before joining the Fellowship, meaning she doesn't know her age, where she's from, or even her true name. Everything she has was given to her by the Fellowship, including her meeting of the love of her life, Dan. 0721. 0721. 0721. I'm an idiot, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Database. Dan. 06, oh, there's another 01. date here. Son of father and the second member of the Fellowship of Ash. Was born on the day of the Great Purge. While a newborn child was certainly a burden to, to survival, father believed that the date of his son's birth couldn't be coincidental. But ding! And that his son was instrumental to the Great One's plan. It's said that Daniel's birthday falls a week before his father's. Abigail was brought to the Fellowship. Daniel immediately fell in love. Something about her just called to him. His infatuation quickly consumed him. Like if him, his attention was uh, returned with similar interest and not repulsion, as Daniel had expected. Love is forbidden within the Fellowship, but for some reason Father allowed it, and the two have been together for three months at the time of writing. It is agreed that both Dan and Father, that the day that Abigail joined the Fellowship was the most important day of their lives. 06, 04, 01. It must be the other one. Why would they have mentioned it? It's said that Daniel's birthday falls a week before his father's, so 1304? Yeah, okay, 06 or 13. 06, 04, 01. Nope, neither. Database, father. Founder of the Fellowship of Ash, prophet of the Great One, survived the Great Purge at the age of 22 has been working towards fulfilling the will of the Great One ever since. Years of tough survival have taken their toll on his mind and he now struggles greatly to remember personal details. It hardly matters to him. He considers himself irrelevant beyond his work to cleanse the world. You can do fellowship underscore of underscore ash. We're a group of enlightened individuals led by the prophet known only as Father, based on what remains of an old church in Data Corrupted, and welcome outsiders into the fold with open arms. All we ask is they follow these three simple rules. Remain courteous towards our brothers and sisters. Respect the word of Father, for through him does the Great One commune with us. Realize that our lives are mere countdowns until we fulfill our true duty and die, that the Great One may use our soul to reform the earth and to fear that duty is sacrilege. Great One. The Great One is a being from far beyond the constraints of time and space, something so powerful it pulls the strings of fate and destiny. Its motives are indiscernible, but its desires are brought to the world by the ones it reaches out to. Most call them insane, but they are enlightened. They see the cosmic truth and will do whatever is necessary to ensure everyone plays their part in the divine destiny. Try to comprehend the Great One is impossible. It is nameless, it is formless, it simply is. June 4th, 2001. On June 4th, 2001, the will of the Great One was put into action and the world was engulfed in all-consuming flames. 
Clouds of blinding white, red, orange, and black rose from the earth and touched the heavens, harvesting the souls of thousands. This is the day the earth was wiped clean from the filth and reshaped into the glorious image of our God. But it wasn't enough. Before the world could truly be rebuilt, one final task must be fulfilled by the followers of its will. Those of us that survived were chosen and played an integral part in bringing this world out of the squalor and reformed into something beautiful. Mm. June 4th, 2001. You've got to put in pass in brackets. You've been putting in the wrong thing. Oh, God damn it. 07 12 21. Correct pass and welcome back, Father. Thank God for that. Okay, Christ. Right, so what we got? We've got help options. Toggle door one? Yeah. Door one power. Is that that one? Or one of the cell doors? It's that one. I regret it already. Oh, that's oh my fun. God. And more to the point, that's fresh. It is. Church key. An old rusted key with splatters of dried blood across it. It looks as if it would fit the lock to the doors of the church above ground because it's called the church key. Given what I've seen in this cellar alone, I'm dreading what I might find in the main church. Dan's resolution. Happens tomorrow. My brothers and sisters are going to grant to grant me grant me the honor of death. Oh dear. Regretfully, I know it will be painful, but I keep reminding myself that it will only increase the euphoria of death's embrace even sweeter. I do pity <laughs> Abigail, though. Whatever I endure tomorrow, she will suffer tenfold, both from the mental anguish of a broken heart and the physical agony of a broken body. Just hope that in the fleeting moments before death, she realizes the integral part of a cosmic destiny. If there is one final show of love I could give her, it's my death and the unfathomably glorious position it puts her in. Staring at a corpse. <laughs> is that you? Did you laugh? Yeah. Okay, thank God for that. I thought it was something in the room. <laughs> Mystic OS. What the That's hell? Cute. Toggle door to power. Okay. It's still too dark in this corner. Yep. It's open though. Here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Makeshift device. Well, it's certainly a strange find. This device seems to be cobbled together with little more than spare parts, and yet it still seems to work. I play with the dials on the front. A strange, deep humming from it outside appears to get louder and more intense. Perhaps I should take a look. Are we done now in the cellar? I don't think we need I, to go back down. <clears throat> I think we're done. Hopefully it's opened the church doors then. Yeah. Can we bail now? Can we just sod off? That's it. I'm done. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you very much. The end. No. Don't like it. Don't fucking like it. Hell. Oh, there's flies and bodies and... I just... You would have left about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before we even started this video, you'd have just gone, nope. Matches! Box of matches with just over a dozen left. I have need a fire to keep myself warm through the night. I'd rather use these to burn this place down, but without some fuel, probably won't be able to get the wood structure above ground to catch a light. <gasps> Turn around! Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's a giant eye! It looks like a heart with loads of eyes inside it. Yeah. Approach strange being. No. Get the fuck out. This is probably a separate ending. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ending C. Embrace. Embrace. You hugged it. After all the horrors you witnessed in your short scavenge of the old church, this bloody visage was by far the worst thing you had found, and yet a morbid curiosity drew you towards it. 
Through the fetid stench of rotting flesh, you battle your better judgment as you approach the malformed thing across the room, until you feel yourself locking eyes with it, finding yourself entranced by its gaze, and you collapse to the ground, still keeping your eyes firmly focused on the monstrosity before you. You find some strange beauty in its terrible presence, and you just can't seem to pull yourself away from it. Days pass, and you remain entranced as your body screams in agony for food and water, but you care little. Your death was a slow one, but at least you were too entranced by a twisted sense of macabre beauty to notice. It doesn't have an apostrophe. But yeah, that was, um, <laughs> interesting ending. I was waiting for a jump scare. Well, okay. I'm glad there wasn't. I'm curious, but probably not just enough to go back and play. We got ending C and ending F. Yeah, I don't know, what, what would we use the matches with? Try and burn the place down. There was no fuel though, they said. No. Maybe there's some in the cellar. Strange one, okay, but I liked that. It's about the trouble we had with yeah. the computer. I really enjoyed that. It's got really good atmosphere. I guess if you went in knowing, oh, there's no jump scares, then you would just not be tense at all throughout it. It's the fact we didn't know what was gonna happen. Yeah, that, that was pretty good actually, PS1 graphics and all. The atmosphere still got me. Did not like that. And it delivered on cosmic horror with the being at the end. That was kind yeah. of cool. Thank you for watching. That was from Flames. There'll be a link in the description down below if you want to go play it for yourself. It is free off itch. And uh, yeah, tell us if you get any of the other endings because C and F, which means there's some few in between. But yeah. bar bailing out the door and finding that thing, I'm not sure what they would be. So let us know. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Goodbye.